Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Talking to Myself. Today we have a guest on who is a teenager at the moment and we're going to hear how they have been experiencing lockdown and how it has affected them since we are now back in lockdown level 4. So with all of that said, let's get into today's show. Hello everyone, and we are here with our guest for today, Mel. <clears throat> Mel. Oh, hi everyone, I'm Mel, and I've always wanted to be on TV. So today we really want to discuss how uh, this lockdown and all the previous lockdowns really affected teenagers, our children, um, and you know, who better to ask than a teenager? So, Mel, how has it been uh, being in lockdown as a teenager? Oh, it has been so much fun. Like, I don't have to go to school anymore. So, like, summer vacation, all of that time. Okay, well, you do realize that if you don't go to school, <laughs> you're going to fall behind. You're going to have to do, like, uh, more work in this time. Or you may even have to repeat a year. No, I already picked out where I'm going to uni, so I'm not repeating anything. Okay, let's move on. Um, tell me a bit more about yourself. Uh, what do your parents do for a living? Uh, they own this really cool five-star restaurant where a lot of celebrities hang out. It's so cool. Okay, restaurant owners. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, so uh, does, uh, does uh, this restaurant sell takeaways as well? It's a five-star restaurant. Of course, they don't do takeout. Well, so that that means they're they're closed right now. Why would they be closed? They have a waiting list. Well, sweetie, in this lockdown level four, the um, restaurants have to be closed uh, unless they serve takeout. So, does that mean we're not making any money? Yeah, that does mean they're not making any money. But then how am I going to pay for my extensions? Your your extensions? Yes, look at my hair. I need extensions. They're expensive. Like, um, how about the, the fact that your parents' business might close down? Listen, look at my hair. Look at my nails. I need these things done. Wait, are we going to be homeless? I can't be homeless with bad hair. What? <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's move on, please. Please. No, don't worry. Your shoes are fine. You're not Are going she... to be homeless just yet. Just, just relax. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, so uh, furthermore, um, this lockdown, how has it affected your social life since, you know, you can't really hang out with all of your friends that much anymore? Well, we still text and like Instagram all of the time, so yes, uh, but you, you can't actually see them face to face. FaceTime, duh. Okay, FaceTime, I get it, but you can't actually physically interact with them as much. Listen, okay, that doesn't matter because I can still see them. That's all that counts. I, I don't need to like physically be wow, with them. Wow, okay, well, it sounds like you have everything figured out. Duh. Well, guys, that is uh, this section of the show for today. We're going to be moving on and talking to people who lost their businesses during this lockdown. You know, people who were really, really hurt by this. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this portion. We are just going to have a quick commercial break and then we'll be right back. 